So check this out, you guys. So yes, um, I have some ornaments I'm going to do a review and some I'm going to unbox in the next few months. But yes, I know Christmas was a few months ago. And guess who it is? It's The Rock. The man who kind of pulled a Will Smith slap on Cody Rhodes. And did the same. Like, Cody Rhodes did the same to The Rock. Which, I was surprised. You know. Uh, can't believe <laughs> both of them pull a Will Smith slap on each other. But, yes, um, so this is called the Hallmark Ornaments The Rock. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what it looks like without the tag on in 3, 2, 1. And I forgot to mention, this will be April's unboxing. So, yeah, this ornament review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred i hope you guys like comment subscribe so i forgot to tell you guys i was doing an unboxing and yes this is actually a resident evil related thing uh which i don't really see why like hold on, let me... there we go i just fix my camera, but here's the problem. I don't see like other people talking about this because I saw this on Amazon last week. And it's actually based on Infinite Darkness that's been on Netflix since July of 2021. So yeah, um anyway, let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in three, two, one. So, yep, here it is, guys. Resonant Evil, if Infinite Darkness, the beginning. So, this is like the beginning before the 2021 TV show. So, yeah, let's go ahead and read it and give it a review in three, two, one. So, yeah, this. Unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing video. So yeah, uh, so look what I got. So remember I told you guys from yesterday's video I got a Wii, finally? Well, it actually just got delivered today. I thought I want to get it until Monday, but um, I don't see my GameCube controller anywhere, so you get the controllers and for some weird recent batteries. The console itself, the little thing that you plug the, the thingy in and the... I don't even know what this is. Is this supposed to be the stand? I'm not even sh for sure. And yes, the game I got is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, I talked about it on the channel once. I think it was like a year or two ago. I don't remember. So yeah, guys. Uh, Oh, and here's the little nunchuck thing. So yeah, guys. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, remember this morning's video I made on the Mario Party video? Like, the Mario Party ripoff video I made this morning? Well, so here it is. The remake video that y'all are been waiting for. And yes, this is from July 1st, 2022. About two years ago. This is a remake to that video. So, yep. Here's the thing. I sold this game and finally I got it back. Um 
Is the Resident Evil 4, the original one from 19 years ago? And I probably am thinking about doing Rated Immature gameplay on the gaming channel. Which I will probably, probably set it up to like, you know, you know, that setting. So here we go. Here is the unboxing in 3, 2, 1. So here it is. Yes, uh, it doesn't have the wrap around it. But yes, this unboxing is going to get 100 out of 100. And review 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I am back with another taste test video. We are doing the... Prime Strawberry Banana Flavor. Uh, this has been out for two weeks or three weeks almost. So yeah, um, I'm excited. Uh, yes, I taste the other primes, like the red one, the blue one, the green one. The green one is not so good. Grape and orange, glowberry, strawberry, watermelon. I have not tasted lemonade. So yeah, um I'll give it a smell. Okay, I smelled it. It smells exactly like strawberries and bananas. So here we go. Here's the taste test. In three, two, one. Now let's give it a review. This taste test and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. And yes, I am putting this in my April's unboxing. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So y'all know that clip I filmed like yesterday. I filmed that at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning yesterday and guess what uh some of y'all have been wondering how well not wondering like some of y'all well okay mostly i didn't tell you guys some of y'all knew but i didn't know walmart had these plushies in that's based on the netflix uh one piece show y'all can tell because if you look at the um the tag is from the Netflix sh Netflix show. I'm sorry, I cannot speak that well in this video. Like, this clip. So, yeah, uh, I got Nami. Uh, what's really weird, her, her eye color is blue, but in the anime, it's brown. So, let's go ahead and take the tag off of her hand and see what she looks like without the tag on and give it a review in three two one i forgot to mention this this plushie is made by fat mojo the people behind bendy and the ink machine doki doki literature club um Rainbow Friends, Baldi's Basics, and all of that. So this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So let me say this, guys. So why on earth did I get a Dominic Mysterio action figure? Well, I found one a few years ago, if y'all remember that, uh, one of those Roman Reigns action figure unboxings I made back in, I, I think it was like the one from 2022, where I found a Dominic action figure, but someone got it before I did. Now, finally, two years later, I got Dirty Dominic Mysterio in my collection. Um... So yeah, I found this at Walmart like three days ago, and finally, I bought it yesterday. 
So here he is in the package. He's a high flyer. You can get Rey Mysterio, Karrion Cross, Ultimate Warrior, and B Fab. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Dirty Dom or Dirty Dominic. I don't know. I just call him Dominic Mysterio. So let's go ahead and get him out of the package in three, two, one. All right, you guys. Here is Dirty Dominic Mysterio out of the package. He has the little judge, Judgment Day logo, the wings, the cool tattoos, and the long hair I'm not too crazy about. And this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, another early April unboxing. So, yes, we're doing another basic series. Basic series 142. Charlotte Flair. The daughter of Rick Flair. Now, we haven't had a Charlotte... Charlotte... Flair, I cannot speak that well. A Charlotte Flair basic in three years. I think the last one we had was like with I can't remember which series it was in, but it only included four figures, which was her, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, and Chelsea Green. So Here's the back. Where you get Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, Honky Tonk Man, and Top Dalla. So yeah, let's go ahead and get out of the package. In three, two, one. All right, guys. Here she is out of the package. Um, she he kind of barely has any articulation. I mean, I like the hand jester pose and that's why i got this figure but anyway guys this review and unboxing well unboxing and review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred so anyway guys like comment subscribe okay guys so shout out to symbiote studios for sending me this i bought this on amazon which they delivered it to me just today. I thought I was going to get it by tomorrow, but yeah. Um, so yes, I bought this like four days ago. Uh, so if y'all are not familiar with Symbiote Studios, uh, they did a new pre-order on Princess Luna like a couple weeks ago, and she is sold out right now. But yes, they're like these plushies that do us toys for Hasbro, like Plushies for G.I. Joe, Transformers, My Little Pony, all of that. So yeah, let's see which one do we get in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So we got Lyra Heart Strings. Um, yes, I didn't see people review her at all. So I guess I'm the only one who's getting to review her and unbox her. I mean, they did... Do a review on the main six, like Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Twilight, Applejack, Rarity, Trixie. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get her out of the bag, shall we? In three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this. It is even the size of uh my um Nightwing action figure. Like I don't know if it's like 12 inches, but we are going to compare this one with a bleacher creature. But let's take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on in three, two, one. Okay, like look at this. So here's Lyra here. And look at John Cena, the John Cena bleacher creature. Y'all are now seeing me do a review. I mean, not review, I mean in the newer plush videos, but look! They look so, uh, different. This one's, like, taller than the Bleacher Creature. And this plushie unboxing and review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. I hope 
You guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another video and happy Monday. So check this out. I found Goldfish Crisp. They're in a little small bag. I don't know why. But yes, I found these two days ago. And I tried them and they're really good. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why I I did that. Like, put it down a bit and, you know. So, yeah, I forgot. I didn't make a part two of best. I didn't make the best of April's unboxing compilation part two. I forgot. I thought I was done with April's unboxing, but I guess not. I guess not. But don't worry, I will like do a few more then after that I'm done. So yeah, um they're in a small bag. These are sour cream and onion. Um they don't normally taste like the the crackers, but they're just chips. But anyway guys, these chips this review is going to get a hun is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another April review for the rest of April. Which, um, if y'all didn't see my video yesterday, that I forgot to do a second April unboxing compilation which I'll try to get it done if I can this week but anyway happy Tuesday and yes y'all know what it is it is the John Cena My Life DVD um this released on DVD about 17 years ago let me look at it again yeah, 2007, 17 years ago. Um, yeah, so, what's weird what WWE did, they only, like, made their DVDs into paper cases, but not anymore. So, yeah, here's the front, the side, the back. And, yes, what's really cool, it comes, like, this. And here's a pretty cool picture of John Cena, which is just the booklet. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and give this a review in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. This review and, um, well, kind of a bit of an unboxing is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, I know some of y'all are going to be wondering... How long have I had this DVD for? I want to say probably about like May over a year ago. But anyway, guys. Um, but anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and happy birthday, John Cena. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys. So we got another DVD review here. This one is... My Hero Academia Season 2, Part 1. Um, yes, I know Season 2 is on Netflix. It's been on Netflix since a month ago. And I just want to review it for you guys on DVD. Because I got this at a pawn shop about a year ago. And yes, you can see All Might is on the cover. The side. Back. The side again. And... The cover is like the sleeve cover. And the same thing with the back two and the side. Comparison. So yeah, let's see what we got in here. And three, two, one. We got episode... 14 through 19, and episode 
20 through 25. And this review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.